My name is Emily Davis here at the Great Plains Nature Center. Just want to welcome you guys to third grade life cycles. So let's go ahead and dive into talking about these life cycles and how growing up can be pretty crazy. So first and foremost, life cycles are basically the way that you grow up and your body changes as you grow up. Um, so you might think of yourself. How did you start out? Well, you probably started out as a baby, right? I think we all start out as babies, so babies eventually grow up. So you look very different from whenever you were born as a baby, right? Have you ever seen a picture of yourself as a baby? You definitely don't look like that now, and even in 10 years from now, you're probably gonna look pretty different too. So even us as humans, we go through life cycles where we change over time as we grow up. And of course, we're not the only ones who go through life cycles. Pretty much all living things are gonna go through a life cycle. And some are pretty complicated and some are pretty simple. So we're gonna talk about a little bit of that today. Now, there are always a few things that life cycles have in common, no matter what kind of living thing you are, because of course, life cycles are a living thing thing. The very first thing is going to be birth, then you're going to have growth and reproduction, and then death. So that is the four main things that you're gonna find in a life cycle. And of course, since it is a cycle, it's gonna go in a circle and keep happening over and over again. And those things are gonna happen whether you're an animal, a plant, a fungus, um, an insect, whatever it is, as long as it's a living thing, it's gonna go through one of those life cycles with those four stages. Now, some animals may go through a pretty special life cycle where it's a lot more stages than us as humans go through. Uh, those special life cycles usually we find with amphibians and insects. Can you think of an amphibian or an insect and picture it in your mind? I know one of my favorites is always a frog. That's why I had to wear my frog shirt for you guys today. Um, frogs go through a very special life cycle called metamorphosis. Now metamorphosis is when an animal goes through a lot of different stages until it becomes an adult. So they'll start out as an immature or a juvenile form, usually in the form of an egg, and then they'll change multiple times into something completely different before they turn into an adult. Now let's go ahead and think about the metamorphosis that a frog goes through. So first off, how does a frog start out in life? Well, they start out as an egg. So they are going to be born as an egg in the water and then eventually they grow up a little bit, they hatch from the egg and they turn into what? What do you think a baby frog looks like? Well, it doesn't look like an egg and it doesn't really look like the adult either. A baby frog is a tadpole. So they start out as this little blobby thing that can swim around in the water. You may see some of these guys on my shirt are tadpoles and they don't have any legs. Now, of course, when a frog grows up, it definitely has legs. So even just from egg to tadpole to the adult, you can see that frogs change a lot whenever they go through metamorphosis. They even change so much that they change habitats. They start out living in the water and then they eventually go on to land, which is pretty crazy to completely change habitats as part of your metamorphosis or your life cycle too. So that's what we're gonna be talking about more whenever we get into our chat with a naturalist and learn some more about these metamorphosis and these life cycles. But why even learn more about life cycles in the first place? Well, life cycles are how animals and plants, bacteria and fungus, all these different living things live and thrive out in nature. And so if we care about any of these living things, we want to learn about their life cycles so that we know how to preserve the different parts of their life cycles and the habitats and environments that these life cycles are happening in. So I'm really excited to be able to talk more with you guys about life cycles. And next you're going to be doing a craft that also has to do with life cycles of the salamander. So we hope that you enjoyed learning about life cycles and how growing up is pretty crazy and we can't wait to talk with you more. Thanks, have a great day.